This neat little gadget arrived in the post today. It's an air purifier and ionizer, an ionic air purifier, and it runs on 12 volt DC and it's designed to plug into your car cigarette lighter um, socket. And for the benef benefit of those who also speak Italian, it's an ionizzatore purificatore aria. Okay, or aria, yeah. You can, you can tell me how well my pronunciation was. It probably wasn't that good. So, looking at the back, um, it's got some tech specs. It says working voltage 12 volts, ozone concentration 3 milligrams an hour, which is quite low, but that's quite good for a small space like a car. Anion concentration greater than 600,000 pieces per cubic centimetre. Okay, that's a bit skewed. That's the ion density. And working current less than 0 0.03 parts per million, which doesn't even make sense. Hmm. The most compact ionic air purifier in the world dramatically removes odour and allergens. Experience forest shower while driving. I don't want a forest shower while I'm driving. Use. Simply apply into cigarette lighter receptacle. Be aware of a faint light at the end of the unit is functioning. Well, let's see if we've got a faint light at the end of the unit. So, uh, here we have um, a 12 volt supply that I just had conveniently to hand. So I'll put the positive onto the end, the pin, and the negative is connected to the housing. And indeed, I don't know if you can see it, can you see it? It's a faint blue glow. So obviously something's happening because it's lighting up. So let's uh, do the ozone test, shall we? Nope. Ozone is a distinctive smell. I'm not getting anything. How about the slight hiss you get from ionisation or corona generation? Mm, nope. Nothing. OK, let's open it up and see what's inside. So, this unscrews, revealing an LED. That's a good start, and a circuit board and some components on it. Uh, unscrew this in. Oh, right, OK. OK. Well, that's quite disappointing. Now, first thoughts when I see a single transistor. A transistor that's only got one pin connected, that's not going to work very well. OK, I initially thought maybe with, when I saw a transistor, maybe it's a current regulator for the LED. And maybe this is a UVC LED, but it's not a UVC LED, because that wavelength of ultraviolet is kind of rare in LEDs. They are available, but um, they are kind of expensive and they have specialist lenses on them so that they don't degrade with the ultraviolet. So let's, uh, let's uh, connect this up. No, that's just a blue LED. OK. So the resistor in series with the LED has a value of red, blue and orange, which is huge. That's 26K. So what current's going through the LED? Um, car voltage, running voltage, say about 13.8 volts, minus about 2.7 for the LED run at low current, equals 11.1 volts to drop, uh, divided by 26,000 ohms, equals, oh, 426 microamps, less than half a milliamp. So, not very bright, but then again, that's not a distraction in the car, but having said that, a complete lack of ozone is. That's odd. Now, I did notice th there's no guide for this circuit board in here, so the circuit board, the only thing that really holds the solder connections away from the sides are the curvature of the case, which I suppose is reasonable enough. Yes. So, a bit disappointing. No ozone generation there. It's not going to freshen my, my van up at all. Oh, I've just thought of something. I've just thought of how I can improve this. One moment. Here we go. A bit of tissue. A bit of kitchen towel. Which I'll roll up. And stuff down the end. Okay. Peppermint oil. Few drops of peppermint oil into that. And screw the end back on again. 
Now, I'll just check it now to see if it makes anything fresher. Oh, that is so fresh and minty. That's fantastic. That's totally improved it. No end. So, um, yes, good result there then. Not really. <laughs>